Okay, everyone, this is a uh, roughly a 5,000 mile update since I purchased it. It's got around 16,000 miles, and I bought it at about 10,003. So, I'll give you an update after uh, I've only had it since January, actually, late January, I bought it. And now I am, uh, it has, this is now October. Got about 6,000 miles on it. Been on several long trips, San Diego and back, all over southeastern Arizona, all over northeastern Arizona, northern Arizona, Utah, New Mexico, Colorado, up through Colorado, Durango, Ure, Black Canyon of the Gunnison, and back. And after all those miles, I changed the oil once, and that was it. Now, my, bear in mind, I've had lots of motorcycles. Usually I've adjusted the chain 10 times over. <laughs> I've lubed it, I've cleaned it and lubed it, I've dinked with it, I've done all sorts of stuff. So, just to give you an idea, the maintenance of this Buell. Uh, I did have the fork seals replaced. Uh, that was a previous pre -condi previous condition. I knew when I bought the bike, I had a fork seal that was starting to, to weep a little bit, so I had that replaced. But that's not that's just normal maintenance, ten thousand mile maintenance basically. You should do fork seals and things. So just to kind of give everybody an update, um, zero. Uh, I did have it. I did I did do a ten thousand mile service when I first bought it, but the guy you know replaced the spark plugs and changed the fluids in the. Uh, transfer case and of course new oil and filter and all that good stuff and since then I have um, just did one more oil change I do oil changes about every 3,000 use the uh, Harley synthetic 2050 uh, v-twin oil of course you can get all sorts of different ones uh, but that's what I used and I've modified it a bit since then put on put on these pannier racks those are happy trails I only put them on when I'm going to go on a trip, like I'm leaving Friday for Laughlin by way of Parker, Lake Havasu, Bullhead City, Laughlin. Spend a weekend in Laughlin. From there, I'm, I'll be heading up, doing some day trips up to like Oatman, where the donkeys just wander the streets. So, just did a video on, I just uploaded a video about mounting my new Sony Action Cam. And I did a video driving over here to the park, so I'll see if that turned out well. I do need uh, new tires. Uh, well, not quite, but I have been wearing them a lot on the corners. I corner this thing pretty hard. It's a uh, it's a really good handling motorcycle. I've blown away Ducatis and it turns. I've blown away. I just blew away on the Yarnell Hill. A guy in a Gixxer 600, he was just being a puss, I think, because I was just all over that guy. Finally, finally I honked him, like, get out of my way. Uh, so who knows, equality. I mean, I used to I used to race motorcycles a little bit, and I mean, nothing major, just, you know, club stuff. And when I bought this Buell, I was like, hmm, can this thing handle? Jeez Louise, can this thing handle? Uh, one thing I'm going to do, I'm replacing this with a carbon fiber one and I'm going to have this big windscreen it's a, it's a forget the name of it now I got it off of eBay it's, God, it's a famous name oh zero zero something um, that's going to be for touring so I can just take it off quickly and mount it I'm going to put a I'm going to put a carbon fiber one here to be more of my street fighter look I just replaced the front upper fender that goes right here and I put on the XB12S more streamlined fender. And because this has the longer travel suspension, I got some of these neoprene covers that mount right here. They're Velcroed on. And because where this ends and where this is, there's this little gap about right there that things could hit. So this protects it better, it stays on there. Uh, this bike came with a drummer exhaust, it came with the um, scoop on this side along with the air venting kit that goes off to the side. It did have a little, oh, 
and for Bilma on YouTube, he gave me my By Way of Motorcycle uh, really cool sticker. The uh, pirate. This is from his Pirates of the Ant of the Arctic uh, series. So if you get a chance, go to his site. Because when I was driving it, I unfortunately dinged it right here, and it took off that little piece that goes right there. And so I said, oh well. But I don't really plan on taking this off-road ever again. Maybe some dirt roads here and there. But this thing is my canyon carver. It fits me really well. It doesn't, uh, because it's got a taller suspension, uh, fits me better. It's a really low slung. All the weight's down here. Gas is inside there. And the oil is in the swing arm. So Buell knows all about uh, handling, he, you know, he builds race bikes. He's got that new uh, 1190, R1190, uh, or 1190 R, excuse me, all carbon fiber and everything. But this bike, it's got the Verlici racing frame on it. Same basic frame and stuff as the XP12 SS, the long. It's just it has a taller suspension, so it's got longer travel forks and rear shock area. So, 5,000 mile, 6,000 mile update, nothing is wrong. <laughs> I mean, I gotta tell you, I've got a lot of bikes. I keep waiting for something. I got a new belt for it, for just in case, because this is belt drive. But this belt, I've popped wheelies on it, I've done everything, it doesn't do anything. But I can replace that belt in less time than replacing my uh, a chain on a regular bike. The drummer exhaust sounds really cool. Matter of fact, uh, if we want, let me start up here. Fuel pumps up, and as soon as that middle light goes out. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it's a paint shaker. This bike has character. I take it to car shows. Most of the good people don't even know what it is. So if you want to be unique, get a Buell. Handle great, great engineering. I love the male slider forks. I really love this brake right here. The ZTL brake. You can do stoppies with it, I guess, really easy from what I see on YouTube. The rear brake on a Buell is designed to really just about control wheelies. That's really it. The, he purposely designed it to where it doesn't really lock up unless you really, really have to push hard. It's not designed for that. It's if you think if you know anything about racing motorcycles, you don't use the back brake much. Maybe 80% is front and about 20% is back unless you're in the rain or on a slippery condition. Then you're going to use the back more. Um, one of the things that I did notice about this is uh, this, the um, gear shift is really smooth on this year and, and later. I think earlier years had a little more clunky suspension or as far as shifting, but this thing just shifts like a dream. Uh, it's only a five speed, but you know what? I've never ever needed to go any more than a fifth gear. I've had this thing to just about 120, 125, which is really its limit. Yeah, I heard you can re-gear it here and there, but you know what? I don't need that. 125 is fast enough. That's death speed anyway. Something goes wrong. You're not going to live. But I really like the way it handles. Uh, this thing is really quick and nimble. It's like a race bike. It's very nimble. And you have to ride one just to understand that. Um, a lot of bikes are feel heavy. I mean, I've ridden Ducatis. I've ridden, you know, Hondas, bigger Hondas. And you got to really understand the... Um, the feel of it because all the weights down low right here 
I mean, this is not a gas tank. It's the air box. That's the gas tank. So uh, that low sl splung, uh, I think we call it the, the, the three um, different ways of hanging the weight low like that. Motor, the muffler on the bottom, oil in the back, gas in the frame. Keeps all the weight really low. The, this is a 34 inch seat height. I got a 36 inch inseam, it's perfect for me. Shorter people, they make the XP12 XCG, which means center of gravity, which means just lower. And uh, for touring though, this thing just cruises. I put my cruise control on, my little, I have a little, you know, throttle lock. It will just go and go and just purr right along. And that big V-twin, until you ride a big V-twin, you know, a duck or a, a Harley, something like that, you don't really know what those V-twins can do as far as big ones. I mean, they really feel comfortable. You'll be really happy. If anybody ever wants to get a Buell, talk to me. 6,000 miles on it zero problems zero I mean an oil change that's it there's nothing to do I got a K&N race filter so she, yeah I just take that off and clean it that's it so if anybody is considering a Buell of any of the XB models any of the XB models do not even hesitate I mean American engineering uh, a lot of American parts, of course, the motor and everything, and I with proper, with proper or proper rider, you can blow away guys on rice burners and Italian, you know, motos all day long. Because it really depends on the rider, but this thing's got the capability. I love the long travel suspension; soaks up the road bumps, really smooth. Now I've got it adjusted now for when I put my pannier racks on it. Uh, you know, I've got thing. I got this rear suspension adjusted for it because I'm getting ready to leave on a trip. Got the front suspension adjusted for it, but you can dial it down real easy. So, any questions on a Buell? Give me a holler. Just uh, PM me or uh, check out your. Uh, you know, give me a comment or something. But uh, six thousand miles, no problems. Actually, let me double check those miles real fast again. Hold on. Sixteen four one eight. Sixteen thousand four one eight. I bought it at ten thousand three and some change. Can't remember exactly now. All right, everybody. Oh, by the way, I've named it. This is Mad Max. Just like the old, uh, you know, movie Road Warrior. There's Mad Max right there. Peace out.